Hello everyone and welcome to Grumpy Old Soldiers. Hope you're all doing okay tonight. We got some new, some fun stuff to talk about. Yeah, how they're gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm good. You let me count the ways. There's probably a thousand ways to die. chat first let me go hey brian ferguson he's here with us tonight so is marcus and ron jeremy and brett whitney how y'all doing it's good to see you yeah that's for sure this is scary. I mean, Chuck was saying the same thing at the same time. Uh, oh, yeah. Oops. Not going to beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Dylan. Don't blame me for shit. Damn it, Dylan. No, no, let's not, let's not start that shit. Ain't starting nothing. Oh, shit. Ray Ray's here. Mm. Hey, Ray Ray. Hope you're doing okay tonight, man. Let's see. So, so Missouri got the same weather we did over the last couple days, and that's unusual because Oklahoma likes to fuck that up. Only on purpose. <laughs> no. <laughs> All I know is we got a fuck of an ice storm. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I was out of power for two days. Me and the old lady fucking got one to a motel. Shit. New York didn't get shit but rain. That was his day. No, uh, it was New Hampshire and then halfway up the coast of Maine. Yeah. But all oh, the devastation. I, But from where I sit in my easy chair, when I'm looking at the boob tube, when I look out this window, I, you, you couldn't see no ice on the trees or nothing like that. So right. I I'm, I'm catching out. Why am I out of power? You know, this little storm, what, what, it should have been. When you look out that side of the house, I mean, it was just a quarter of inch ice on everything. Mm. Oh, my God. I had to plow through the trees to get out of my road. It was, yeah, it was brutal. Yeah, in Texas, whenever we get an ice storm, we never get a nice little ice storm. It's We either get one and it's bad or we don't get one. And so... Power companies and communication companies, after the storm, every single time are out there cutting trees back. Yep. But they got a lot of straightening up to do after, uh, what was it, three years ago, the ice storm in February? Mm hmm. And they still haven't got that shit straightened out? No, we got lucky this year because we almost had it again. Yeah. Well, you got summer coming up. That's not good either. Yeah. They're going to be playing with our electricity this summer, too. Yeah. Damn. You know, there was, uh, what was it? Uh, the gas station or something caught on fire back east somewhere. I'm not sure where. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's time to just stock up and supply yourselves because there ain't no telling how long it'll last. Yeah. We've been doing that now ever since that ice storm, even for summer months, because it can, you know, a similar thing can happen in summer just without the ice. Yep. But during the ice storm, we were able to, I was able to stick my hand out the door and grab a pan full of ice, melt it, and then filter it, and we had water. Yeah. We had water in the house anyway, though, because we left all the taps running because we're on pier and bean Oh, yeah. And we were down in the teens, and down here, the pipes in the ground are not that deep. So, down in mm -hmm. the teens is not good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ryan says their weather in the northeast is up and down. Yeah, it's been weird. But uh, it's, it's not unusual to get storm like this in March. Even, huh. even the first week or two of April. Yeah. Well, our, our last hard freeze is uh, May 5th, is what the records show. We may get cold, but we never use Usually, we don't get snow past that. Usually. Yeah. 
April is real window. windy. Real windy here. It's kite season. Mm-hmm. Right before tornado season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we get the winds and we get hail starting in half halfway through yeah. April. We actually got grapefruit size hail in Pantigo, Texas. That's uh, oh, that's part of big. Arlington. That's dangerous. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it, it actually did manage to kill some people. Hey, Ed. How you doing? Doing good, Ray Ray. Hey, Ed. Yeah, well, I've known people lived out in western Oklahoma got knocked out by softball size hail in the summer. Mm-hmm. I would imagine it. Yeah. yeah. Had one that busted out, it hit the house and popped back into the middle of my fucking pickup trucks. Oh, front damn. windshield. Mm. Yep. How do you guard against something like that? You're going to get damaged. Yeah. Yeah. What we do, we try to, we got a carport that fits one car and we got big trees in the yard. If I have to, I'll even park in the yard under a tree and that won't stop the hail but it slows a lot of it down until it gets something hits it and takes a tree and makes it fall over on your car no these trees aren't that old <laughs> these they have like uh they're like this big around yeah can't see but uh they're also not that old and not very tall so we're okay there, there. Yeah, that big around. <laughs> like Jim I said. This big. <laughs> never lied. I never lied about the size of my fish. Yeah. yeah. Ray Ray said, tuck in your lip, We're butter, our butter squad. Wow, Ray Ray, okay. <laughs> well, I thought we was going to change his name to Din Do Nothing. That's fucked up. Oh man. So how you doing today, JT? Uh, I'm all right. Calming down. I got fucking pissed off. What? Just don't want everything going on, man. I'm just sick and fucking tired of it. You got a bunch of dumbasses crying, Jew this, Jew that, blah blah blah. And you got fucking Democrats. Everybody that's against them is an extremist. You're going to cut off our heads. They're invaders. Sick and fucking tired of it. Mm. You know? Mm. But other than that, everything's groovy. How you been, Chuck? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Payday's going to catch me up this week. I I am actually was 10 cents overdrawn. <laughs> Oh, I just slap some money in there. Check bounced. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All your checks bounced. So what's been going on for you, Jim? Not much. We got our pile back. I'm happy, happy. I haven't nice. had to leave the house yet. Nice. Well, we did. We just bugged out. Went to a motel for the last night because it was cold and dark the first night. Mm. And, and I said, screw it. Let's go get a shower. And my toilet, see, that's the worst part about losing power is my toilet and water don't work if I don't have power. So mm. that's for a very uncomfortable day. Yeah. I can be in the yard, but it kind of upsets your old lady. Fuck. Bro. Would you rather you pee in the corner? Well, no, when I make her go pee in the yard. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, Me? you know the way to fix that, don't you? You right. just make sure her uh, washing rock is in between where she's got to go pee and yeah. house. That way she can also stop at the rock and do some laundry. <laughs> oh, shit. So, Dylan, how's your how's your week been, man? Eh, so-so for the most part. Just trying to stay silent. That's just it. Yeah. It's not working. You fucked up there, JT. How 
Hang on a second. Somebody just pointed something out to me. I'm I'm trying to get the story up now. They said oh. thousands are marching in Tennessee because of Black Lives Matter. Um, they're protesting Kyle Rittenhouse for killing black men. Yeah. He didn't kill uh, any black he men. Kill. He yeah, killed yeah. one guy. It's the George Soros people, man. Media matters, yep. and all them. Yeah. Yep. At this point, they don't know why they're marching. They're just told to march and march. Yeah. By the Don't way, extreme hate field. right about now, Rittenhouse, he had moved down here so he could go to Blinn for a year or two and then go to A&M. I think this this year he's going to A&M, Texas A&M. Texas A&M. Oh. Oh. That's how you go to A&M. You go to Blinn for two years first and then you transfer in. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Texas is a whole nother world. Yep. Yeah. Got our own power grid. For downtown March. One second. Oh, we're waiting. Don't keep me on the edge of my seat and leave me hanging like Steve would. Right. See, that's the thing. When Rittenhouse, he wasn't there to kill black people. He was there to protect his uncle's property. Yeah. Yep. And then he was attacked, and he promptly did By, what all our Biden patriots should do. Yeah, Good and mother. fucking BLM, they can't say, well, there were agitators who tried to use our protest as a, as a way to, you know, just cause trouble. They won't say uh, that. They can't. They're too tied at the hip. Mm. They used the Black Lives Matter to give them cover so that they could pull their communist bullshit and nobody starts bitching. Oh, look at you, racist. I'm sick of it. Fuck them. It looks like they they were... If they had half a brain, they would not march under the Black Lives Matter banner. Mm. Do it you know the 60 million dollars that you know they raised and nobody saw a penny of other than yep. their mansion yep so yeah it looks like you. looks like they're uh um protesting the george floyd thing and there's no there's nothing we can do about that no because that's another bogus bullshit thing why yep. are you mad over that he yep. was a druggie who od exactly passing fake money yeah, he was a scumbag on top of that. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. This I didn't do nothing. Shit is got to okay. stop. Your parents need to talk to your kids. Make sure that they don't get out there this summer because I'm afraid Pete, there will be some people just totally lose it and had enough of it. Yep. Well, it, it's coming to the boiling point, but now you've up not only upset us. That meaning the right and the conservative side, you're upsetting everybody else. Yep. When you start taking away the money that these people are getting in their government programs to give oh. to, we won't go there, you know, the illegal criminal. Right. But, the only thing I'll say about that, I've been seeing some uh, little balloons saying that they're pro- planning on cutting off those cards. Just shut them all off at the same day. Doubt it. A better way to start up a nice little fracas. <clears throat> the uh, article I'm looking at is in the Tennessean. And let me check again. I, I did a search on the page for Kyle, as in Kyle Rittenhouse. Oh. And Kyle's not there. And Rittenhouse is not there. So that's what I'm going to go by. I don't know. Um, well, I know he was doing a guest speaker gig at some place. Yeah. You know, and it was, he was protesting. Yeah. But so uh, like you, they're all protesting because they're convinced he killed black guys. He didn't. One of them had a Jewish name. <laughs> yeah, they were about as white as white gets. Yeah. Oh, man. 
this is here's a kind of an old one uh rumble stock alert rumble offers to buy tiktok and uh the Amer at least the american side and to manage them and rumble stock went up because of it but uh that's this is two weeks ago so it's probably not going to happen probably wouldn't have happened anyway the guy who owns them is in china yeah i don't i don't think yeah i don't think he's gonna play ball fuck no i personally i wouldn't either you know because the the u.s is just trying to bully him into letting us have control over it. yep but it's not just the TikTok thing see that's what everybody keeps focusing on they they will do that to every social media social media anybody that's got a website yep yep they yep. want control they want to say you know tell you what to say and what not mm -hmm. yeah the bigger companies that own all the all all the uh media most almost all the news media they're they're kind of crippled because the government can can uh there's all sorts of ways the government can make them do what they want yeah yeah well when they started playing around and gave them that uh, Section 230 coverage, these people don't, don't get it. Yeah, you're a private business, but you were putting yourself in a position to expecting special laws mm -hmm. to protect you against being sued. Mm -hmm. So they are no longer a private business. Yeah, 230 didn't cover them anymore after they went on out on a limb and tried to police their own sites. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yep. And I guess the, uh, uh, that's the Republicans are doing right because they're all over Laura Trump and them. How they're just screwing up the Republican Party. This, that, blah, blah, blah. We. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see in November. Whoa, 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 no, Chuck, what's, Chuck, this? Chuck, what's this? What's this same on, shit on. show? But, Chuck, how about this? Because you already know every single year for the election, they always come out with some new bullshit-ass uh, thing going around, like they did the swine flu and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. How much people would have bet they're going to come out with some sort of sickness and everything else? That is a thought that's going around, actually. <clears throat> And uh, but a lot of countries there are are going in uh, protesting against the WHO. The we were basically following WHO guidelines. The whole world was, and right. a lot of places are saying, a lot of places are saying that the WHO fucked up because um, social distancing might have helped a little, masks didn't, and lockdowns didn't. People still had to go out and buy groceries. Yeah. They, they kept open the liquor stores and the convenience stores. People mm -hmm. get cigarettes and booze. Mm -hmm. Not a fucking pandemic. And who the hell decided that the World Health Organization is anybody to tell us anything? Nope. This is America. We don't do that shit. Um, we did this last time. No. We were forced into it. That's what I and mean. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that we did it. We were forced into it. You know, it's like saying the difference between man-caused global warming and man-made global warming. There right. is no climate change going on that the world has not done until they come up with the uh, electric, the direct energy weapons. And they started heating up the fronts and cooling them. You remember all the years they were making well, a big deal? Watch us drop this stuff out in the middle of the hurricane. Well, you brought up a point and then and then went right past it to a new point on something else. <laughs> How we were forced to uh, follow the yeah, rules of the who? How were we forced? Huh? I, they, I, were, I, they went and talked to all the banking institutions, got them to come down on the people needing the money to run their companies and they were told that unless you go by these rules you will not be able to do business it yep. was that simple <laughs> who did that uh, uh in cahoots with the united states government and the federal reserve okay
Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm a little pissed. I don't like knowing my government's trying to kill me. Yeah. And that's exactly what they're doing. Who's still trying to press it where they will tell nations when, where, who, what, and take away freedoms if they think a an emergency is needed? That's emergency. That's one of the worst, one of the worst yep. things you can announce before a new law. That means that means they're grabbing power that they shouldn't have. Yeah, kind of like a jib jab. Yep. And now what are they doing? They're having to get rid of everything that they put up lying about ivermectin and uh, hydroxychloroquine. Yeah, Hy hydroxychloroquine. Was it that or was it ivermectin? They were both approved for humans first. Right, yeah. And it had it, been used for over 30 years mm -hmm. on parasites, and it was very effectual. And the That's reason they're they not... That's horse-based. Yeah, and the reason they're not... They weren't pushed during the... Uh, um, you know what? The, the lockdown was yeah. because uh, they didn't make money for the uh, for the big pharma pharmaceuticals. Because right. they're generic. They had, they, had to, they had to connive away and fiddle-faddle with everything until there was nothing on there that they could use. Because it states specifically there has to be no other way to deal with it before you get an emergency use. I'm glad you pointed that out. Yes, that's absolutely well, that's true. That's why when DeSantis down in Florida, they were using the monoclonal antibodies. There were clinics popping up all over the place. And it was helping and so biden says well i'm going to take control of all the supply and i'm going to divvy it out to the state the fan has said well i've secured my own supply go pound sand then he made it illegal yep it's not like there was a shortage of the of it you know it was yeah on a yeah, that's pretty fucked on up. A, on a on a on a jib jab that was actually patented what two thousand and nine. Mm -hmm. oh, that's crazy, and now they're trying to convince people. Oh, we've got new drugs to help with the flu and the cold. Oh, you can be covered for both the coup and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, right. Yeah. Let's all run. I got lucky. The last flu shot I got was only for the flu. It was not for SARS. COVID. Did you check? Did you check to see if it was a uh, non mRNA? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I asked they the pharmacist. Me. I made him show me the vial. And they I asked, read the I, drink. Yeah. Yeah. My pharmacist showed me the box the vial came in. The their my pharmacist is not a liberal. Far from it, <laughs> you know. And uh, he did what he had to do because of laws and stuff, but he yeah. didn't combine. He did not automatically combine uh, inoculations or vaccines because our our his customers wouldn't have stood for it. Yeah. Shit. It sure was funny there at the first old Pelosi sitting there telling everybody to go out and hang out in Chinatown when they were trying to force everybody into masks. Yep. Pelosi's making too much money from insider knowledge. Yeah. I mean, her daddy got away with hanging out. Oh, I'm sorry. All the, all the government officials, they just need to wear, like, uniforms, NASCAR wear. That way we can see their corporate sponsors. Yeah, that'd yeah. be awesome. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mad Scientist pointed something out. Just like Oxygen and the vid-19 vax that was made in India. India has has good pharmaceuticals, too, by the way, folks. I used to buy generics from them. And uh, in India, it had been tri trial proven to be 94% to all the strains that were out and the new ones at the time, a couple of years ago. Not U.S.-based, so not approved. Yeah, but they were also giving their people ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. <clears throat> but the, there are lawsuits that are hitting, and 
Yeah. I'll just wait and see because it, it's a big mess they've caused. It's a Pandora's box. Mm -hmm. And everyone involved needs to pay. Yeah, everybody. There needs to be. There needs to be. Just, they have fucked up their profiles so bad that even liberals don't trust them anymore. Yeah, but look what it's done to our medical system. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, Roy. The vaping reeking. Hey, hey, guys. There he is, yeah. Hope you're doing okay. Yep. So... The Dolly container ship lost control before Baltimore Bridge collapsed. The article I got was from yesterday, but I think we we probably know the updates to that. That they had gotten up to, the tugboats had gotten them up to eight knots and hundreds of thousands of tons of products in the ship. You can't they lost steerage, they lost control, and went right into uh, support and uh, if they hadn't if they hadn't called out Mayday first that was a minute before they struck I think when they could tell they were losing control Yeah, a lot more people could have been lost Let's see. the vaping oh. wants to know how you're doing Chuck who? the vaping reeking oh hey vaping reeking Good to see you again, man. I, we saw you last, uh, Monday night. Let's see. Hey. How are you? Mr. Stevie Marquez. Oh, hey, Stevie. How you doing, man? I heard this is where the cool kids come and hang out. Yeah. No. Well, how did Dylan get in? We lowered the bar. <laughs> I'm short and stubby, so I climbed the fence, or at least hopped it after Jim lowered it. slipped in on the... Yeah, we saw you. We got the video. It doesn't look nice. Damn you it. You need to be this tall to ride the ride. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. And he jumped right as he got there. <laughs> I'm tall enough. I'm only 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, Leave me alone. One of these days, you'll get to grow up and after your nuts drop and you get a little bit of bass in that voice. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. <laughs> uh, well, we'll just take him to the Haitian barbecue, boys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's another thing Bill Clinton fucked up. All those laws that, that he passed or whatever somehow involved... I don't remember the Bill Clinton years. I was working my ass off just to try to stay indoors. But uh, they, uh, truth in labeling was was a lie because it gave them more ways that they could lie. Right. Um, and they fucked up. He took off the tariffs. The North, was, was, was it the North American Free Trade Agreement or was it the... Yeah. yeah. The terrorists were keeping Haiti from going broke, for one thing. So the shit that Haiti's in now, Clinton had a lot to do with that. Them in the UN. Yep. Well, you know, they weren't rapists. They did leave a quarter on the girl's belly when they were done. Mm. Gotta yeah. love those blue helmets. Yeah. So, Julian Assange's uh, extradition has been stayed again. They're they're just going to keep lying. The U.S. is going to keep lying. Dump the truck tipped four dollars and twenty cents. Right Dump the truck. I think it's time to take a wrench. Till he starts adding to the show and stops living in chat, harassing the chat guys, and drinks more than three beers. <laughs> I don't know if y'all could hear that. <laughs> I, I'm I'm still working on trying to get that working so that y'all can hear it too. Um, yeah, dump the truck. Thanks for the donation. He donated money saying that uh, uh, Dylan needs to quit trying to hang out with the big boys. 
I, I, at least I can hang with the big boys, unlike you, hippie. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that sounds like fight mode. Yeah. Yes, Brian, Brian Ferguson, yes. Assange is a pawn, and he's, he's going to become a scapegoat for a lot of shit, but we're trying to prove that First Amendment means absolutely nothing. The government will kill you for what you're saying because... They've already proven that. Yeah, they will, and they have. I mean, fucking Epstein, hmm. how, how the fuck did he commit suicide, really? They know. And hell, look at Owen Schroyer going to prison, not for his free speech, but when the judge went around and was explaining why he was going to jail, it come back to because he was talking. Yeah. He's a reporter. That's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then the blaze, they've got a guy that was down there and he just got stuck with some time, <clears throat> you know, and you got that jackass uh, attorney general there in DC going to, stand up at the microphone and threaten more time for the January Sixers because there's a judge that looked at the cases and found that they kind of went a little bit above and beyond what the court was supposed to do. Mm hmm Way. Mm hmm And that was not the end of courts going above and beyond. Yep. It's not you the... got a guy get facing 11 years for praying. I miss America. I do too. Julian Assange said ISIS and Clinton foundations are both funded by Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Yeah. You don't remember Clinton getting in trouble for begging money from the Saudis when he was still in office? Yeah. For his Billy, Billy Clinton library? I think I do. I think I do remember that. It wasn't... It was something they tried to get rid of real quick. Mm -hmm. yeah, he was out there on that golf course with them, begging for that money. Mm -hmm. Presidents aren't supposed to do that. Nope. Oh, boy. And There's yeah, another one. Not to favor other countries and not us. Yeah. Presidents aren't supposed to like ice cream more than they like the people. Uh, that's true. I should take his ice cream away. No, they got a backup plan. They got tapioca on the way. So P. Diddy is under suspicion of uh, uh, sex trafficking. And it's not, apparently, from what I'm hearing, I heard this story from several different sources. One of them was saying that uh, he's actually the low man on the totem pole that they're using as a scapegoat. And I I think that might be right. Yeah, they want him to steal. He got arrested, too. Yeah, yes. Today. Yeah, he got arrested in Miami. He was about yeah. to get on a plane and go to Antigua. And they caught him before the plane took off. And then the plane left and went anyway, which, good. <laughs> I mean, there's probably shit on the plane that he didn't want them to see. They didn't have their um, their warrant did not include the plane. They went and stopped him and grabbed him, but they couldn't go on the plane and search. Hey, so. Rico. Hey, Rico. Hey, Rico. How you hey. feeling, man? I just, I just found out about your situation. How you doing? Yeah, me too. So you're home now, huh? Can you type? He's probably using voice to text. So, uh, yeah, Paris, tell us about tell us about the accident if you don't mind. I didn't know if he wanted his business spread out there. I was just going to tell everybody he got VD. I got a big mouth. Yeah, it was VD accident. He was yeah, going yeah, along, driving his truck. Suddenly, got VD at sixty miles an hour from the other direction. <laughs> You never know what, what uh, them people are bringing into Florida nowadays. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I shouldn't joke. <laughs> I mean, measles is back again. 
Yeah, don't forget the leprosy. They quit Dump talking the about that. Dump truck tips three dollars and thirty three cents. Dilly 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 drink two Bud Light and call me in the morning. Thanks for the tip. Uh, dump the truck. Happy hippie. I'm sorry. What were y'all saying? Yeah, I don't remember. I was just starting to read this other headline here. Oh, what Six, was it? 1,600 planes have been affected by GPS jamming over the Baltic Sea just the last four days. <sighs> Hang on. I got. I don't remember exactly where the Baltic is compared to Israel and all that. Baltic, the Black Sea. Right. So I believe. Maps. Baltic Sea. No, that's not the Black Sea. Baltic Sea okay. is is between Sweden and Finland and Northern Europe. Black yeah. Sea is down by Turkey. Okay. Do we have to label them? You sounded pretty racist. Yeah. Yeah. So triggered now, Chuck. Sixteen hundred airplanes in four days. Yeah, it's not far from Russia. <coughs> well, they showed back in the eighties that they had the power to show uh, what was it, the Aegis system? Yes. Yes, they jammed the Aegis system and shut it down. Yeah. So can you imagine after all these years? Hey Chuck, just know Mike Bird commented on the link that you posted on in the group chat, mm -hmm. uh, in the group page. He said, "What's up, Chuck and crew? Just a FYI, I'm watching live now. I've been watching every week. I just cannot type in chat." Oh, okay. Final chats. I've updated YouTube, my phone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know why I can't type in any chats. Is he? Okay, Mike, if you're watching, are you... I don't think I have members only on, but if if there's a chance that you might not be a member, then try to try to join as a member and see if that fixes it. I don't think I have that on, but YouTube fucks with controls bad. Does it? <clears throat> yeah, it takes people's alerts off and everything. Yeah, it's little Vinny's alerts because he commented about it before. Bash, yeah. shut up. Who are you blocking, Dylan? Dylan Nobody. blocked him. <laughs> Bachelor said Dylan blocked him. I didn't block shit. Mike Berg. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm... Mm, I don't know. I don't know a way around it. I'll, I'll have to... Yes, Troy, that's what I was that's what I was trying to say. I might I don't think I have subscribers only enabled, which means I that could be an option cuz YouTube may have done it. It may say subscribers only and uh can chat. So Oh, you had to work today. Oh man, Rico, I'm sorry, man. That that sixty mile an hour clap's got to be bad. Okay, Brett said he got a notification just now that the show was on. Cool. <laughs> Fucking I YouTube. Mine. I got pen on time. Hmm? Wow. Let's see this. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. Oh. Uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Is everybody familiar with DEI? That subject. Um, it's basically, you know, you're black. Okay, you you can you can come in even though your score's not high enough. Shit like that. Oh yeah. That's gonna be the downfall. Except you know, it's been proven to be the downfall. Remember yeah, the banks that went those banks out on the west coast that went belly up? DEI. Mm -hmm. And now look at the air Boeing airplanes. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Having trans people is more important than 
uh, tightening the bolts to the correct torque. Exactly. Uh, well, Texas passed a law, Senate Bill 17. It went into effect on January 1st, banning all DEI initiatives at publicly funded institutions of higher education in Texas. That doesn't mean that the... Um, it, me it means we're not going to support that. We can't be a part of that. You can't have money to, to have them, but you can still have social functions that promote DEI. And there are people protesting about it three months later. You just want to know what kind of special stupid you got to be to think that somebody's color, religion, race, creed, whatever you want to call it, is a hindrance in their learning process. If you can't pass a test to take this job, you don't get the job. It ain't because you're black, it ain't because you're Mexican, it ain't because you're white. Hmm? You get stupid. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. You gotta... Everybody in this country has the same chance as everybody else. Supposed to. Yeah. Well, uh, you have the option to get that chance. You, you can be yep. like me, be a lazy fuck, sit on your ass and just be happy with what you got. Or you can go out there, do an honest day's work and make a, make a name for yourself. Yeah. It's what you want to do. Nobody owes it to you. Nobody should have to help you do it. Yep. Yeah, the the image they've got for the, for the newspaper about the story about DEI shows a protester holding a sign saying, Equality hurts no one. That's not fucking equality. No. That's giving extra points to people who are not equal. Yeah, that's basically them. Yeah, and that they've does got hurt. to get rid of merit-based achievements. Yeah. Yeah. And having that is not equality. What they're trying to say it is, they're trying to equate that with equality, and it's not. Well, they're trying to change the word equal to equity. That's their problem. They keep trying to change words. Every society that's downfallen, that's the first thing that goes is the language. Yeah. It's propaganda. It's what you do when you take over a city or a state or a country. You throw out yep. propaganda. That's yeah. one of the ways. Oh, you get rid of the laws that we had on the books and the that kept our government from propagandizing us. Yeah. Another little achievement by little Queen Barry. That's right. Yep. Mm. Uh, you know, just, be careful. Uh, it, it's just got to fucking stop. Man. I'm just. Well, Texas put a stop to one part of it. Mm -hmm. They can, well, they can cry and protest all they want, which they should do. But th what they really need to do is figure out how to make what they've got still work, you know, without without uh, DEI. They can't. How many did they just get rid of at Harvard because of plagiarism? Oh, my DEI? God. Yeah. Yeah. There was. Oh, the college oh. institutions are crap. Yeah. Fucking Ivy League. I mean, yeah. I mean, Chuck, Brian does pick, uh, make a good point. There's been so much talk about fucking abortion all the time. And he says if the youth would quit screwing like a bunch of jackrabbits, we wouldn't have this issue. <laughs> if you shut your mouth and just went to the doctor and dealt with your problem and not included me in it in any way, shape, or form, we wouldn't have a problem either. Mm. That too. But you're right. No, there's all those people that like to stir up drama, stir up problems, and still bring everybody else and their mother into, into, into shit and things like that. I don't know. It, it just got to the point where, for some reason, these people think their lives impact mine. They don't. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you feel. I don't care what you... Well... You got a whole fucking generation of people that have been told that their feelings are the most important things. And if somebody hurts your widow feelings, they're a bully. Yeah, well. You I know what? There's a reason we have bullies. There's a reason we have yeah. things not equal. 
Life is not fair. <laughs> Get used to it. They, they say survival of the fittest for a reason. Hmm. Yep. Let's well, see. were you listening to Lady Gaga again there, uh, Paris, when you had that accident? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's a Swifty through and through. Uh, well, I said the radio was cranked up loud, so, you know. Oh, he's a Swifty if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have to go along with you on that one. Kind of like Dylan, you know, he's a Swifty. Hey, hey. No, he's a brony. He's looking up uh, Pinkie Pie right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> I keep getting them confused. You hey, know? hey, hey, JT, it's one thing to do what Jim does. It calls me a brony. But don't call me a fucking Swifty. I hate that bitch. Jabroni. Oh, you're a Swift brony. Oh, don't fuck yourself. How about that? He's a quicker liquor upper. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm not a Swifter. <laughs> And Biden and Trump both asked voters if they're better off than they were four years ago. The newspaper says the answer is complicated. It's not really. If if you're, it's really if, not complicated. It's not My, if you're answering Trump's Trump question. Yep. Yeah. I live on a fixed income, and that money goes about a third what it used to. Yep. There's a whole lot more month at the end of the month. Yeah. Yep. But then, and, and that, that's it. you don't need to, you don't have to break it down and analyze it either. I don't need these big pie charts to let me know that I can't fill my truck up for forty dollars like I used to. Mm -hmm. I can't, you know, can't go get the same amount of groceries for two hundred dollars. Yeah, uh, a good a good uh, sign that you post up on a billboard. In November would be something like showing the gas prices in 2019 compared to right now. Yeah. Or early 2020. Because mm -hmm. a lot of readers, when they when they ask that question, a lot of we readers are forgetting about uh, Corona. That whole debacle, everything. And when you remind they them, they're like, "Oh yeah, huh?" That that problem, Chuck. They don't see it as as a huge debacle like it was. They don't <clears throat> they don't see the crookedness that went on. They they want to be happy in their own little world, thinking they did their part, wearing the mask, getting the jab, hmm. doing what I was told. I locked myself down, uh, and they they just want to feel warm and fuzzy because that's what they chose to do. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but to admit that wait a minute this was kind of hooky would would just shatter their world. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Rico, that's true. What Troy says is about Dylan is right. He is into pony play. Hmm. So fucked up. No. Fucked up. <laughs> All right, I know you got the Mister Limpet uniform out there, ready, waiting to put it on. Damn it, JT. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good movie. Yeah, it was. Oh, lady fish. <laughs> the only thing you can't be a furry if you're in your Mister Limpet outfit. You know what? I forgot to ask. What? What's everybody vaping tonight? This uh, and that, and you know, with some more of this, and, a bunch and of maybe a little things. bit of that. Yeah, uh, and then, you know, this, another, and then. another one of these, and then I got the other this. And uh, uh, let's see, here's the this. And Brett, you're fucked up. I like that. Go name Pony Express. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find that out, How Brett? How did you find out? <laughs> that was always supposed to be meant for the panel. What does a gay horse eat? What, Troy? <laughs> hey! Hey! Hi. 
Yeah, Don Knotts was good. Yeah, but his best one, what, what do you think it was? Mr. Limpet? No. I don't know. Go for Mr. Chicken was, our, was good. That one always comes up, but nobody ever says the love god. The love, no, come on. Yeah, he had a song and everything. Mr. Pika, Mr. Pika. I don't know. <laughs> the reluctant astronaut was better than that. Yeah, reluctant last astronaut. That was my favorite one. Hey, but, Brett, just know if your wife saw you on Tinder, she'll be very, very mad at you. Here we go. I got the IMDb thing for it <laughs> up on screen. I got a 6.3, which for the kind of movie it is, is pretty good. Oh, man. Oh, it's the love God with a question mark at the end. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> No, his family owned a, like an Audubon book of wildlife. They were mainly into birds. Right. And he was off chasing his birds and finding something, and something happened, and the mob comes in and takes over his family's publishing business. Oh, man. That's great. They make him up into the Hugh Hefner type. It was great. <laughs> All right, now wait a minute. The the one of the better ones though was to shake his gun in the wet. Oh yeah, that was before Blazing Saddles, right? Uh, oh. Yeah, I believe. a few years. Yeah, Blazing Saddles was like seventy one, seventy three, something like that. And the shake his gun wasn't until like the mid later mid seventies, seventy six. Well, okay. All that. Well, let it happen again. Oh, okay. okay. Shaky is gun was 68. 68? Yeah. Wow. Doug, Patrick says he has an announcement at the end of the show. Okay. Blazing Saddles was six years later. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Apple Dumpling Gang was good. Well, Dumpling Gang, I forgot about that. Yeah. That was him and Tim... Uh, Tim what? Conway. Tim yeah, Conway. Tim Conway. Him and Harvey Corman on the Carol Burnett show. Oh my <laughs> God, them two are unstoppable. Yeah. Pretty God back in. Well, I Man. like the one where he's just making a guest appearance on the show. He gets him better then. Yeah. Shit. Too bad Terry's he, not here. Right. Speaking yeah. of Terry, he likes that uh that one juice by Mr. Marquez, and my father and I just ordered more juice from him. Cool. It's called snacks that Terry likes. Yeah. If anybody needs to know how to get a hold of e liquids by Stevie Marquez, you can either hit him up in chat, probably, or you can go to rawchuck.com and it'll be there's a link for him for Stevie's Collective on the bottom of the page where you can order all, all of it. Yes. And if you go to his Facebook group, you have to hit up Stevie directly for, on Facebook as well. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because it's very specific how you have to do it. Yes. <laughs> and also, if you want to know um, the different juices that he has, he, I believe he has the list pinned in, on the, um, at the top of the page. Okay. Mm, he's got a lot of good ones. Everything he makes. My father and I just ordered that one juice that Mark always likes, the banana pudding one. Mm -hmm. So my father and I bought it, too. Mm. Still got me some Yoshi right here. I was tempted to get that Godzilla one that you, that you uh, got me hooked on, Chuck. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, is it time for joke of the day? Yes, it is. We up, up that time. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, this older couple sitting on a couch one night watching TV and the phone rang. The wife picks it up, and on the other end is this pervert. You can hear him breathing heavy. And you have a big, hairy, sweaty twat. He goes, yeah, you want to talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
This one's for Dylan. Yay! <laughs> That one's for George. <laughs> Everybody, don't forget our buddy Angel Gomez and his coils. Yep. Yes. I got a link for him on rawchuck.com, too. It's raw also, chuck, not raw talk. Also, everyone say a prayer for Bobby. Say a prayer for Bobby. And for uh, oh. Paris. He's Yes. He we need to start a prayer circle. Yeah, we yeah. do. Maybe I will. So, uh, Bachelor, what's what's the news? It was Bachelor who said that, right? Yes. We're waiting. No, 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 no. Bachelor, what's your announcement, you son of a bitch? The one thing I hate about chat, you can't tell when somebody's actually typing in the information you're yeah. asking for. That's, that's the only bad side about chat. Yeah. Yeah, Vinny. Prayers for Bobby and Paris both. Yep. And we're glad uh, Jim got his uh, power back on. Yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I bet. It was cold, it was dark, and it was boring. I can do all three of those, just not at once. Mm. So he says, oh no, that was Brett. Yeah. Brett's dick a day will keep the vagina away. Not necessarily. It depends on what know. you look like. true, Dylan? Hey, 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 don't, <laughs> do, not bring, do not bring me into that. No, I had nothing to do with that. I got a dick every day and my wife's still here, so. Did you see the new Playboy? No. <laughs> Was measured out at 38, 24, 28, and eight of you. Chuck Bachelor just commented. He said, as you all know, I had pneumonia. Well, I learned today I have a large mass on my left lung. Thanks, Dylan. And oh, don't blame God. me. Sorry to hear that, bud. Don't blame oh, me. I didn't just hear Well, we'll put you prayers in our prayers too, Bachelor. Guys. Have you had a biopsy yet? Anyone a doctor besides Paris? Well, Rifleman is, but he's not here. He doesn't watch this show. No, I quit going. Oh, to sorry, yeah, I to Keep us posted. We'll yeah. We'll be rooting. Yeah. Yep. Riggle, we're all praying for you. Same thing with Bobby. I hope everyone does fantastic with life and everything. Especially with Chuck. Uh, Scheduled for lung biopsy on Thursday tomorrow let us know bachelor we gotta know yeah. well good night everybody stay for America stay the test tube come in zoom if you want to pick on the test tube again yeah, good one.